Hi there, we are Missing Link, a subsidiary of Omnicorp. I'm Ju Xuan, the analyst. This is Tom, the marketer, and this is Sophie, the researcher. We are all joint CEOs in this business venture. Missing Link strives to find new business opportunities in the lucrative student market. We're here to bring you an exciting investment opportunity. We have identified a gap in the market, particularly in the utilisation of specialist sports equipment and gym facilities. At the Lee Westwood Sports Centre, there are lots of facilities available. These include facilities for adventure sports as well as much more ordinary equipment. This is what separates us from competitors around us. Many sports such as archery, trampoline or canoeing, as well as many others, require more than just a ball on the field like you would do in football or athletics. Um, so here, you can see that many of the classes are taking in place at the Lee Westwood Sports Centre. Specialist equipment such as bows, trampolines, kayaks um, are difficult to source and because of that is uh, often expensive. Amazingly, universities who are able to facilitate and who own the equipment leaves them idle during long term times. This presents a perfect opportunity with a unique selling point to a large audience and therefore is a basis for our business. In addition to this, we can hold specialist classes for beginners to attract an even wider audience and maximise our revenue. We have conducted research in Nottingham, Nottingham Trent University with some very positive results and this is where we will begin our business venture before expanding to other cities and universities. Um, some basic cluster analysis shown in the dendro graph behind me plots every single university in the UK along with Nottingham Trent University and we have compared them by student and enrolment type. Um, here we see a small cluster of eight universities shown here, which are the most similar to Nottingham Trent University. It is worth noticing that the similarity level is quite high throughout the dendrogram and that both Leeds universities are included. This possibly makes Leeds a, a good destination for us to expand into uh, should we choose to expand. Um, so we'll need to uh, do more research in the, uh, the new cities we're expanding into. There is nothing to suggest that um, we cannot um, copy our business model onto another city and university. Uh, we can also split the dendrogram into uh, multiple smaller ones. So here, using the same data set, I have um, split my dendrogram into um, smaller ones depending on where the university is based. So here we have East Anglia University, West Midlands University, and I've included Nottingham Trent University in this dendrogram. This makes it easier for us to use general statistics such as student densities in each region and as well as average wages, which will give us a variety of business um, um, routes that we can go down um, depending on what region we are in. After discovering the potential and possibility of the Nottingham Trent Sports Centre, we decided to conduct some research to get a better understanding of who to market our services at, how often the gym is used, and also what kind of prices people are willing to pay. As the researcher of the group, I designed and distributed an anonymous survey, which gained enough responses for us to be able to analyse the data. Firstly, we looked at the use of the gym. 54% of students surveyed said that they were unaware of other gyms in Clifton. This means that NTU do a great job of eliminating competition and highly advertise. Of the remaining 46% that were aware of competitors in Clifton said that they didn't use the facilities there. We believe that this is because of the op offers that Nottingham Trent hold in September, such as a free trial week and well advertised membership discounts, which must be purchased by a certain date. Already in practice, these methods are highly effective. We propose to use similar methods, such as free taster classes and gym sessions, which will be advertised in advance. The average price that students said they were willing to pay to go to the gym is £8.81 per session. In my survey, I asked how satisfied students were with the facilities. As you can see, we have high satisfaction rates. And in fact, close to 90% of students said that they were satisfied with the gym facilities. This means that they're more likely to stay during the summer. Another highly marketable aspect of the gym is the High Performance Centre, or HPC. This is used by students who compete in specialist sports such as rugby, netball and American football. However, to gain access to this gym, you must be a member of a specified team. It would be an amazing opportunity to allow others to use the HPC. The sports teams don't compete over the summer, so the HPC would be completely unused and a waste of expensive equipment. We could also charge a much higher rate for access to the HPC as opposed to the gym. I then looked more specifically at the specialist sports NTU has to offer. As you can see from the chart, the most popular sports were tennis, squash and martial arts, followed by archery, trampolining and cricket. All of these sports require specialist equipment and an area to participate in. 
None of our competitors have all these facilities in one place. We can provide access to courts, studios, archery equipment, trampolines and much more. I then asked students what the main reason was for purchasing a gym membership. As you can see, 58% of students own a gym membership. This is represented by the blue and pink together. 22% of students said that the main reason they bought gym membership was to use the gym itself. Whereas 46% of students said that they bought a gym membership to be a member of a sports club. This means that we should focus our marketing more towards specialist sports. The facilities with the most interest are the gym by far, with just over 50% of people surveyed registering an interest in using it over the summer. But also, sports halls and dance studios, which provide access to a number of different sports and fitness classes. The tennis and squash courts also show to be very popular, which means that we will market and advertise towards these fields of sport. The general net and fitness industry has been very strong in recent years, despite the recession. The industry net worth has grown consistently over the past five years. The change in our lifestyle over recent years has led to a greater awareness in the importance of keeping fit and regularly attending the gym or taking up sports to compromise for this change. By allowing for the use of the facilities at the Lee Westwood Sports Centre over the duration of the time that students are not attending the university, it will enable students to attend university elsewhere and have returned home to Nottingham to continue specialist sports that they may have picked up at university. It will also enable the general public to come to the Lee Westwood Sports Centre and make use of the specialist facilities that we offer. Since our terms of service also come the, cover the summer period, the classes will be made available to cover younger people as well, so they can pick up sports that they like. It's a fantastic opportunity to get local people who live in Clifton fit and healthy and also taking part in new and exciting sports. It's also a huge benefit for the students who are at Clifton as it will make a fantastic reference on their CVs if they are qualified to teach the courses. Our target market is people between the ages of 18 and 24 who live in Nottingham and want to make use of the facilities available at the Lee Westwood Sports Centre. Our closest competitors are Rocco and David Lloyd. These both have awkward terms attached to their memberships that make it tricky, particularly for returning students who are returning home. The prices between them vary. Uh, David Lloyd has an initial setup fee of £36 every time you take out the membership with them. This makes it awkward for a returning student as every time they return over the summer break, they have to pay this £36 every year. The price is also £54.50, which is the most expensive gym in the local area, and they don't have no student offers available whatsoever. Broco, on the other hand, is much more appealing to students. They have a student price of £42.95 a month, this is compared to their 53.95, which is for the general public. They also have a shorter minimum membership time compared to their usual thing for students to make it more flexible. These minimum membership times are three and six month terms and make things unappealing to students for if they require the full four months that they are away from university, two months will be paid for and wasted no matter how they go about it. The usual minimum time for the general public is also 12 months. These minimum times put people off who aren't sure they want to commit to a gym as they will be paying for something that they never use and won't be able to get out of it for a while. Learning from this, our marketing campaign has been developed to combat these common issues. No fixed term membership will be required to use the facilities. Also, no memberships will be required to use the facilities. The benefits of membership will encourage people to buy them. These benefits of memberships do include cheaper classes and free gym sessions will be a price of £30 a month and can be cancelled at any point. Another part of our enterprise is to allow for the rental of rooms such as the sports hall. These large rooms make for a brilliant place for tournaments or parties. These rooms must be booked in advance so classes can be rescheduled and people planning on attending the classes can be notified. The start-up costs of our business venture are paid for by a £20,000 8% interest loan over 18 months. If we can get a regular turnout of our target audience of 5% of Clifton, 2% of Rushcliffe, and 1% of Nottingham, we will be expecting to see a revenue of £250,000, a gross profit of £210,000, and a net profit of £160,000 over our first period. Today, we are offering the chance to be part of our new exciting business venture. We are looking for a further £100,000 investment to expand into a further two institutions, which will cover the startup costs and running costs for the first period of four months. In return, we will offer a 20% stake in our new business venture. 
thank you for listening and we welcome any questions.